Freya. I spoke of your brother's sword. How did Odin acquire it? I'll answer this one. Odin uh, disguised himself as the most beautiful person Freya had ever seen. This separated Freya from his sword. <laughs> oh, with end. Embarrassing speed. I am glad Freya ultimately retrieved it. Me too. My little boy. Lera after what they did. Lera? I've never heard of it. It was a peaceful kingdom, full of artists and poets. But it fell to ruin long ago. And these berserkers were responsible. Them and their accursed king, Thrall. What little blood I have still boils at the thought. Your former home, I assume. Let's just take this victory and move on, eh? There is no need to shoulder this burden on your own. Admittedly, you're shouldering the brunt of the work here. Let me worry about the emotional burden. <laughs> Freya, getting back to your brother learning to realm travel. You said he fell in love with his teacher. Yes, Gerd. Someone he could wander with as never before. So, wander they did, exploring the world tree from root to branch. But one day, it came time for Gerth to wander away. Freyr was heartbroken, and resolved himself to perform some great feat to win her back. Enough talk for now. Be ready. <laughs>
Light Elf architecture. It's massive. Something is coming. And it's not happening. <laughs> is as good as mine, imprisoning a drake. Can't decide whether to be impressed or horrified. Either way, it is over now. A token. A badge of honor. The elves made a few of these. They hang them up outside their dwellings. Show their support for my brother. <laughs> about that Greek player mentioned, if you won't take offense to the critique. As a work of performance, it consisted almost entirely of watching people give speeches and receive terrible news. It might have been nice to see more events dramatized instead of described. It is Greek tradition for a story to unfold in a single time and place uninterrupted. It is more clear. Say so. <laughs> Freya, getting back to your brother learning to realm travel. You said he fell in love with his teacher. Yes, Gerd. Someone he could wander with as never before. So? Wander they did, exploring the world tree from root to branch. But one day, it came time for Gerd to wander away. Freyr was heartbroken, and resolved himself to perform some great feat to win her back. He set his aim on the grandest of gestures. He intended to be the first to find the elusive source of Bifrost light. And he succeeded, although quite by accident. Freyer believed he navigated best while fortified by a potent blend of Vanir herbs. When he wandered, he 
wandered. And he managed to wander from the World Tree directly into the Lake of Souls. The elves have never seen anybody come out of the lake before, so it got some attention. Oh, that is bloody hilarious. Another time. We must focus. More Draugr crawling out of the bloody ground. <laughs> <laughs> Enemies on the left! You're on fire, Kratos! It will pass! <laughs> <laughs> for the death of her family, and has been haphazardly wreaking her vengeance on anything within arm's reach. Even death didn't stop her. I know. <laughs> Freya, back to the story of your brother. You said the elves saw him emerge from the Lake of Souls. It's true. I don't know whether he worked his charms at that point, or they just assumed him to be a great deity. But of course, he hadn't made this journey in search of responsibility, so he didn't stick around long. Still, the legend of his manifestation was passed along through the ages. It even endured after the Great Division, remembered by Light and Dark Elf alike. So when at last he returned, he was uniquely situated to gain the trust of both sides and help to create a truce. The problem was, both sides trusted only him. So the peace could only last as long as he stayed around to keep it. Not now. Why don't you finish that story about your brother? He stumbled into Alpine, became a legend, and returned ages later to bring peace. It's true. But as the only one both sides trusted, the peace depended on him. Enough. We will continue later. Sort of a harp. I can play beautifully, you know. I do not. I would prefer it remain that way.
Mimir, I never asked how it felt to lose your head. What would you have me say? Does it tickle? Merely curious. If you wish to derive some satisfaction from my pain, I'm afraid you'll be disappointed. Kratos swung swift and true, didn't you, brother? I felt nearly a scratch. Shame. The Berserker Gravestone. Prepare for another fight. symbol of their betrayal, their cruelty personified. The sooner we are done with it, the better. If I can make peace with my blades. I suppose you're right. If Skofnun rids the land of these bastards, I can stomach its presence a bit longer. <laughs> 